Okay, friends, so in the previous video, we worked with uh, add select. In this video now, let's see the subquery ordering. So here we have an example with a destination and flight and sort all destinations based on when the last flight arrived at the destination. In our case, we have posts and users and I'm going to sort the users based on the uh, last post created at. So instead of arrive that, we are going to say post created that. For that, let's open the VS Code and here I, I have the query. So users order by desk and here I added the post select created that. So instead of the arrived at, I added the created at where column user ID must the user's ID because we are in the user here. Order by desk created at and limit one. And now if I open the in the browser, here we have the all the users, user with ID one and so on. User with ID one, two, three, as you can see here. And if I open now the table plus, just to show you here we have the I have all the posts. And the post with ID one belong to the user with ID one, the post with ID two belong to the user with ID two, and the post with ID three belong to the user with ID three and all other posts belong to the user with ID one. Now, right now, all the posts are created in the same at the same time. Let's uh, see now if I change the created that in this post. So as you can see here, let's change 14 here. And I expect now then to be the user with ID two in the top. So come here and the user the post with ID2, let's change the created at from 13 to be 14 here. And now this post is created at after the post with ID1 and all other posts. And this post has belonged to the user with ID2. Now if I come here and refresh, yeah, as we expected, the user with ID2 are is in at the top and then we have the user with ID 1 and 3 and all other users. Okay, now this is how you can use the subquery ordering. Good, but because I like this select, I'm going to show you some uh, other examples. So in here, I'm going to comment uh, this one now. And let's create another query. So I'm going to say users equals the user. And here I'm going to use the select. And I'm going to select, uh, we can say just select like this and say get. And if I save and open the browser, refresh, yeah, we have the user with all the details. But if we want if we want only the ID, for example, and the name, uh, let's change that. So in the select, we can specify the columns ID and the name. Save, come here and refresh. We have only the ID and the name. Also, if you want to display the count, the post count of the for specific user, we can say here, after the select, let's say with count, and here so we need to specify the posts because we have the relationship and let's save and come here and refresh and we have the post count here and uh, i'm not going to show you let's see let's open the user model and let's show you here we have the post as many and uh, also the post in the post table you need to see the previous video. We have we added the relationship. Okay, now also here we have this query and let's do the same thing but in a different way. So I'm going to comment this and create another query. Let's say dollar sign users equal with the user and I'm going to say select again and here I'm going to pass the array and I'm going to select the ID. I'm going to select the name. The same we have here. 
And instead of saying with count posts, I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to say, uh, what is the name post count? Post count here. And say post. Make sure we import the model. And select row. And we need the count here. So let's say count. And now here we need to specify where column and the column of uh, posts dot user underscore ID match the user's ID. Users dot ID. Like this. And uh, let's say get here. And now this is the same with this one. And let's uh, zoom it out, yeah. Okay, now if I come here and refresh, yeah, as you can see, we have the ID, name, and post count. Let's refresh now, the same ID, name, and post count. But just in, here we used the with count, here we used the select row. So let's comment this. And now in the previous video, if you don't see, if you haven't seen it yet, you can go and watch in my channel. We select, we added the at select in the user for the latest post. So we used this subquery select, at select in the users. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but in different way. So let's say dollar sign users again equal with user and I'm going to say oh, again select add an array and uh, select all for the users and then I'm going to say here latest post title and now let's say post I'm going to use a select again here, and we need to select only the title. So select the title, and let's say where the column, where column posts dot user underscore ID, match the users dot ID, and we need. I forget that the comma here, and we need to uh, say latest and limit the B1. Okay, and then here we need to say get to get all of them. And if I save now and open the browser and refresh, we have all the users, and then we have the latest post title as you can see here. for this uh, user, and then for the user with ID 2, and the user with ID 3, and so on. Good. All the best, friends, and see you in the next one. Thank you very much.